Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. The Zab Twins have helped hundreds of people start and scale successful e-commerce businesses and are ready to share those lessons and expertise with you. Joining me today are the Zab Twins, Eric and Brian. Hey guys, nice how you here. doing? Good to have you here. And a lot of people talk about making money online or in some kind of an e-commerce business. Why do you recommend something like the Amazon FBA? Well, a couple of big reasons. And honestly, with Amazon the way it is and how big it actually is, it's literally the largest e-commerce retailer up there. So if you want to go somewhere that's more trusted, there's a bunch of revenue and you can utilize all of the customers that they actually have. Sure. It's a great place to start for anybody. So that's number one. Number two is they have a program called Amazon FBA, which stands for Fulfilled by Amazon, where they literally do a lot of the work for you. Your job, get the products to Amazon, market them to your customers. Now all of the shipping, logistics, and customer service after that is actually handled by them. So for people like myself, you know, I get the idea of extra income coming in, uh, but a lot of people are busy. They got family, they got kids, they got other things going on. How do you do all of this at the same time? Yeah, I totally resonate with that. Funny enough, we resonate with that. And I'll tell you in just a second, but what Eric had essentially mentioned, the fact that you're partnering with Amazon, they're doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you. They're dealing with the order distribution, they're dealing with returns, they're dealing with customer service. Those are a lot of the things where a lot of D2C brands are going to spend a lot of time and consume a lot of their time, minus the headache and the overhead by being able to take advantage of something like the Amazon FBA program. And it's their first time doing it. They, they, they're they not familiar with how to do it, right? Exactly. And the Amazon FBA program really gives you that first step forward and it makes it a lot easier for you. But we used to work corporate. We went to business school. We worked a very demanding corporate job. The minimum time that we needed to spend every single week was 50 hours. But us, we were hustlers. We worked 60, 80 hours a week. I remember right. I was doing 80 hour weeks to get to my first president's club and it was very, very time consuming. So we needed to find a business model that we could juggle while still at the end of the day, focused on our job because we didn't want to put that on the back burner too much. And Amazon FBA just made sense because of the fact that there are so many different things that they took care of for us. That's awesome. But how is the FBA startup different from other Amazon kinds of courses out there that some people might see. What really differentiate us, and, and honestly, obviously this is our own baby, so uh, <laughs> we're biased in that sense there, but I really do think we have one of the best experiences, if not the best experience for anybody that's looking to get started on Amazon today. Now, we've had hundreds of people get into this, hundreds of people who are super successful all around the world who months ago had no idea about Amazon. Heck, they didn't even have business experience. Right. Before. So for people like Will, for instance, who literally took a four month vacation last year, people have quit their jobs, people have used this as an opportunity to um, just make more money to pay for debts, pay for presents for Christmas, pay for a better life with their families. I really think what that boils down to for us is the one-on-one -on -one accountability that we actually provide prior our students that come in. I think there's not a one size fits all for everybody. So us being able to cater to those individuals has allowed us to really bring success to the program. But on top of that as well, we're always being relevant. We're giving accurate information on the blueprint we're providing because Amazon changes, the world changes, things like AI pop up and we wanna make sure we're giving the best experience for our students. Right, when you go on the internet, you see a lot of free information yeah. about things like we're talking about here, but I get nervous, you know, it's free and should I go there? Why is it important to have mentors like guys like you that have been doing this for years now? Realistically, it's kind of like your scapegoat to be successful sooner. We are in the trenches and we're still actively building Amazon businesses today. And I think that's one other reason why we're able to differentiate ourselves amongst all the other Amazon FBA coaches out there. Eric said that this world is very dynamic. The Amazon world is also very dynamic because of the fact that one strategy could work literally today and the next strategy could not work the next day, right. you'd be on your toes. So the fact that we're in the trenches, building the businesses, we're making those mistakes for our students so that they can learn from us right. ultimately. And all said and done, yes, you may invest money into this mentorship upfront, but you're getting access to this blueprint that's gonna allow you to really check off every single thing so you don't miss anything and you don't lose money on some of the things that you do invest into your business specifically. Right, you talk about making mistakes, yeah. learning, you guys are learning the mistakes and then using that to teach the others. And I just wonder along the way with your journey, would you have changed anything? Probably the biggest regret that we have is not getting started sooner. We were talking about this a little bit earlier on, but we heard about the Amazon FBA world 
back in 2017 and we didn't actually get started till 2019. So everyone knows opportunity cost is one of the biggest things when it comes to losing money in this very evolving world. And um, although we regret not getting started sooner, we also are very thankful and grateful for that experience because trust me when I say this, a lot of the people that come through our program actually go through that exact same kind of thought process. They probably heard about Amazon FBA five years ago, but they didn't get started until today. And us resonating with them and sharing our story towards the fact that we got caught up in the corporate rat race, we were trading our time for money, this very handsome salary was disguised as these golden handcuffs. <laughs> and ultimately, sharing that story with them really allows them to push themselves over the edge and most likely get started because- Awesome, awesome. I mean, people are wondering probably, you know, why that you, you, you both teach and educate people on how to start their Amazon business. But um, if you're already doing so well with your own brands, wh why teach other people? I think things happen for a reason. Why? And what I mean by that is, you know, during COVID, um, Brian and I, we were, we were finally at the point in our business where we were like, hey, we want to quit our jobs. Okay, so during COVID, we had a lot of time in our hands. During quarantine, we were stuck at home. There's only so much that we could do. And with our Amazon businesses, they were pretty hands off at that point in time. So we were able to run those at a, you know, a five to 10 hour work week. And we asked ourselves, well, what is the one thing that we can do to actually make our lives easier, but also help us build our businesses a little bit better? So an opportunity came into our lap to actually one-on-one -on -one mentor students from a previous program that we took. And uh, for us, we started doing that and we started to love it. We started to fall in love with helping people build a business, seeing them be like, holy crap, this is actually something that will, you know, give me the ability to change my life. And shortly after that, we started to realize how, how we feel the traditional education system is just flawed and that online education is truly a gateway to being able to succeed in a much, you know, quicker, more efficient, and, and honestly also a less costly way as well. So mm -hmm. for us, we were like, hey, we got now all the tools in our belt, We've built our brands, we're successful there, we've one-on-one -on -one mentored, and we were like, we now have the platform to be able to go and do this. You know, this is giving us the platform to give back and scale this out to help more people at a larger scale as a whole. Right. You know, for us, if we didn't take this opportunity and we didn't get into coaching, it was never really our intent to actually do that. But with coaching, it's given us that platform. We've spoken at Amazon stages. We've been recognized by some of the biggest names in the Amazon game. And we've had a heck of a lot of fun doing it. Not only that, but we've also changed many lives along the way. That's which, awesome. Which none of it would have been possible if, if we stayed quiet and built our Amazon FBA business. That's awesome. You guys, have you, you walk the walk, you talk the talk, <laughs> you help people do this. You've got great testimonials of success. And Eric and Brian, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And for those that are out there, be sure to visit the FBAstartup.com to get started. Thank you, guys. It's great having you. Take care. Thank you.